Hello guys, this is going to be the concluding lecture for improving the user interface and I'm going to quickly introduce you to a JavaScript library that I find very very intuitive. It's called the Sweet Alert. Basically, Sweet Alert is a JavaScript library that was uh, written to replace the normal JavaScript alert. Let's see the example here. If we click on the normal JavaScript alert, this is how it displays. But if we click on Sweet Alert, it gives us this beautiful interface. I'll quickly show you how we can integrate this into our system. The first thing that we need to do is to download the CSS and JavaScript file. You click on the download link. So I'm going to save this to my downloads folder. Show in folder, then I'm going to quickly extract this here. Open this and go to the disk folder. We need the sweet alert and the sweet alert dot mean. So I'm going to go over to the root directory of our project. And I'm going to paste this here. And I'll pick out the CSS one. Come over to CSS file and uh, paste this here. Now we need to initialize it by referencing the files that we just uh, included now in our project. So go over to our test editor. We're just going to include the files here and we're going to give the correct reference directory. So this is going to be CSS and this is going to be JS. All right, I'm just going to grab the sweet alert function and display it in our index page so we can see how this works out. So come to the index and we're going to open a JavaScript tag here. So script type to be test last JavaScript. And here we're going to put in the function. All right, let's refresh our page and see this. So once you refresh, you see this nice message pop up here. Click on cool, the message disappears. There are different options that we can play with here. For example, if we want to display a sources message, we just need to replace this and call the sources and let's say, yeah. Here is my sources message. So on refresh, you see, this is a sources message. We're going to include this to our, our project right now. What I want to do here is actually just flash a message to the user once they log in. So for instance, demo user logs in, I say, welcome back demo. Then I'll just flash the message for a few seconds and the message disappears. Let me show you how we can quickly achieve that. We're going to just remove this. In our login page, we actually need to make some changes here. And the reason for that change is because if we are going to be calling our sweet alert function when the login is successful, so this is where we want to call the function here. Okay, we're going to be calling the function here, but mind you that we are actually including our headers here. And in our header, we have the sweet alert files. So which means we are actually calling the function before we are including the headers and this is not going to work out fine. We need to extract this to a partials file. So come to a partials directory and I'm just going to call this pass login. Paste this here. We're going to remove the section because we have section already started in our headers remove this then in our login page we're just going to include it beneath where we are including the headers file let's refresh and see everything is staying intact okay so it's include once database.php fail to open no such file so we're supposed to leave the resource here since we are now referencing this from the partials directory Let's quickly do the same thing for the sign up and also for forgot password. So just grab this, pashas. So we're going to say pass sign up. All 
right so sign up we're going to include it here pashas pass sign up go to our sign up page all right this works correctly for forgot passwords do the same thing grab this pashas gonna say pass password reset let's go to password.login and the very place where we're going to call our suite alert so we'll go over to the suite alert website and i'm just going to pick one of these functions here okay this one has a timer so we're going to grab this one so here i'm just going to create a variable I'm going to call this variable welcome so this is going to be equal to we open our javascript tag so call the script type should be equal test slash javascript and you close the script all right let's escape the string so within this javascript tag we can now paste the sweet alert function so just paste this here I'm going to format this. I'm going to escape this. Okay, so I'm going to include some tests here. So I'm going to call the type. Type is going to be success. And I'm going to increase the time to five seconds. So we're going to say welcome back. Display the name of the user. Then say you are being logged in all right so this will do the trick for our, our sweet alerts within to pop up that message when the user logs in but another thing that we will take note of here is we are actually redirecting using php which means that this is actually going to be uh, done before the javascript so i will quickly show you this in the browser so that we'll come back and fix it Click on login, uh, select user demo and password. So we see that nothing is being displayed. That is actually because the PHP is being processed before the uh, JavaScript. So what I'll do here is actually to get rid of this. So I'm going to comment at this. And if we go back to the Sweet Alert website, you will see one other options here. This is a time and function. And what this does is the this JavaScript time function we uh, actually give us some time to display the test before we dismiss it. I'm just going to call the JavaScript timer function here and say we're going to be redirecting to the home page. So we say windows.location. window.location to be dot href be equal to index dot php and we are going to make this let's say five seconds so let's make this six seconds basically we have this setup here and we are handling our redirection with javascript this message is going to display for actually five seconds because we set our timer to five seconds so i actually set this to six seconds so the message doesn't disappear before we call the timer which redirects to the index page so i'm going to go over to the browser and log out then we're going back to login again see this in action so welcome back demo you are being logged in just wait for a few seconds and it disappears and redirects us back to the index page so we're going to apply that same formatting to other pages going to grab the message just copy this 
when the user registers successfully we're going to just uh, use the sweet alert too we're going to call results equals congratulations congratulations then we say the username we're going to say registration completed successfully this is going to be a success message to get rid of this grab one more test from him just grab this so i'm going to replace this then we escape our string so we're going to remove the timer and we're going to delete this so basically when the registration is successful we're just going to flash this message so go over to a page we're going to log out and sign up we're going to register one new account Teddy at gmail name is going to be Teddy. password is going to be one two three four five six seven sign up so congratulations Teddy's registration completed successfully thank you next we're going to apply that same formatting to the reset password go to our reset password to see where we are displaying the success message when the password is reset successfully we just paste it there and grab this message password reset successful so we're going to say password reset successful updated then i think we should also apply it here it's going to grab this get rid of this and uh, paste this here if the email address is not correct we're going to also use a sweet alert to display that message but this time it's going to be the type is going to be error and we're going to say okay so here we just say oops get rid of this said password so the email address provided does not exist in a database please try again click on this now we're going to reset the password for an existing user so this would be demo at example.com password reset so it says updated successfully thank you